We've all been there. You have just gone to a certain place, at a certain time, on a certain date, done a special thing, and the thing you suspected would happen has just freaking happened. Not to mention the fact that you have just seen whatever the hell it is that lives in your mirror, being told in detail how you're going to die, and the highly demonic and invincible thing you have just summoned is heading right towards you. Also, your family are all dead, your friends are all missing, and you have been framed by someone with access to your bedroom. <gasps> what do you do now, sweet protagonist? Well, luckily for you, Dr. Moxmo is here to give you the answer! These are the simple rules that one must follow in order to firstly not become a victim of creepypasta, and furthermore, to come out kicking if the worst does happen. With the help of this guide, you too can merely be a cataconic traumatized wreck as opposed to the guy currently being worn as a coat by some dude who roams a lot. Just keep the following rules in mind and listen to the doctor's notes. Number one, mirrors and darkness don't mix. Number two, actually mirrors are a general no in the creepypasta world. There is nothing more sinister. Number three, there is a zero chance of survival if you look at the thing that no one else can see or answer his question incorrectly. Number four, if you are alone at night in a creepy mental institution, take some time to consider what the fuck you are doing there. Then, if it's appropriate to do so, leave. Number five, avoid going to places where everyone else who went there never came back. Number six, if someone stops your vehicle at night and asks to come with you, it would probably be in your best interest to politely decline. Number seven, killing is the last method of survival. Use it sparingly, but without fear. Number eight, who was phone is always a good thing to ponder. Also, who the hell answers a phone while making out with a dead person's sexy daughter? A creepy rapist. That's who. Number nine. Get a simple .38 revolver. Load it with two silver bullets. If you really feel that there's no chance to come out alive out of a situation, take one shot at whatever it is that is threatening you. If this doesn't work, you still have the last shot to become a tragic hero with. Doctor's note. Or buy more bullets. More bullets equals a better chance of survival. Number 10. Area 51 is simply too well guarded to let you in. Or to let any alien out. Number 11. When going to a hotel, try to steer clear of unauthorized areas. If you couldn't resist, but you saw a red thing, take some time to consider the price range and hotel standard on your next visit. Have you ever stayed at the Haunted Hilton? Number 12. When booking your hotel stay, TripAdvisor can be an invaluable tool in deeming whether your choice is a scene of a multiple murder, full of dead people, or built at the mouth of hell. Local newspapers can also be helpful. Number 13. Invoking demons, speaking weird languages, and performing rituals of any kind is considered dangerous. Refrain from doing that, especially around abandoned warehouses, churches, psychiatric institutions, the woods, and your house in front of a mirror at night especially at night. Number 14. When going to a new area, environmental understanding is a key to survival. Ask around for cursed places, legends, dangers, and other details. Listen to the local people's advice, and don't be afraid to ask if you're unsure of which attacks slash disappearances are paranormal and which are not. Number 15. Always have a Bible next to your bed. Provides average reading material, proofs of beliefs, and is a really heavy and effective object to throw at enemies. Number 16. Don't count on holy water. Get a sturdy file of sulfuric acid and let a priest consecrate it. Number 17. Japanese priests cleanse rooms by waving katana swords around. Their ritual is 100% effective on corporeal forms. Number 18. If you find 666 messages on your phone, mailbox, email, etc., Consider changing the said service provider. Also, don't bother listening to slash reading the messages. It's spam. Extra dimensional possibly, but spam nonetheless. Number 19. Old pharmaceutical companies can't help you. Unless you specifically need blood of the innocent, snake oil, and radioactive syrup. Which is never. Doctor's note. Except when cooking for your rival. Number 20. If you need to sign it in blood, then you don't need to sign it. 
all mainstream governing bodies will accept contracts signed in ink. Bear this in mind if the offered deals seem too good to be true. Number 21. Lighthouses are dangerous. Avoid them at all costs. If you work at a lighthouse, consider a career in insurance sales or nursing. Have you ever read The Skeleton Key? Number 22. There is simply no reason to listen to music that causes suicidal tendencies. Number 23. Or to watch films that have strange slash disastrous consequences. Number 24. If you like to plan ahead and have some money, buy your aunt and uncle a house in Bel Air. Nothing can harm you there, no matter how scared your mother is. Number 25. Secret secluded untouched areas in old buildings are left untouched for a reason. Number 26. Before you start swimming in the icy cold waters of a murky lake at the center of a dark forest at midnight, ask yourself, do I really want to travel to an ancient and terrifying city? If the answer is no, then stay at home instead and watch whatever quality programming is available on Cinemax. Which means boobs. Number 27. On your 33rd birthday, try to celebrate in a well-lit house with the company of others. Number 28. Refrain from using the one true name for anything. There is probably a reason why people give it a nick. Number 29. Watching TV static for long periods of time may be hazardous to your health. Try satellite TV or Freeview to combat this problem. Netflix and internet streaming are also effective. Number 30. Get a cat. Those furry little hairballs seem to perceive unnatural phenomena better than us, and if desperate, simply throw it at whatever is about to get you. Doctor's note, or I write you, they help too. Number 31, safety in numbers. If you're getting a bit too freaked out, grab a few friends and any and all firearms and avoid the area in question. Number 32, cemeteries are bad places, especially in foggy conditions and on Halloween. Number 33, try not to close your eyes ever. If you must do so, do so only briefly. If something has moved from its original location in the time it has taken you to blink, it is recommended that you do not blink again until you have dealt with the said object. Fire is presumably the best method. Number 34. If you find an unmarked tape which contains the file extension .avi, even if it is one of your favorite kids shows, do not, under any circumstance, watch that tape. Now, if the extension is .mts, that is a different matter altogether. Number 35. If you hear chanting, run until you are out of earshot. Number 36. If you are too old to play with dolls, you do not need to be anywhere near one of those creepy little fuckers. Doctor's note. I just read Annabelle. Do I honestly need to tell you that? Number 37. Legends can offer valuable insight on where not to go when camping with friends. Number 38. When babysitting, ascertain the family's tastes and preferences to avoid being killed by poorly selected statues. Number 40. If you go to buy a used video game, whether it's at a game shop or at a garage sale, never, ever buy the one with a weird looking cartridge. This includes strange colors and ripped off labels with titles written in marker. The latter tends to happen more often than not. For the daring, don't just buy said game to become famous. Your chances of becoming an internet celebrity because of it can only work if you know how to program. You should also be highly suspicious of games priced too cheaply and bootlegs. Number 41. If you decide to buy said game, rip that son of a bitch out of your console the moment it starts acting funny and take a hammer to it. Number 42. If you ever see a strangely new looking doorway with a strange face on it on a building you swore you didn't see at first and the building happens to be an old chateau, don't fucking open it! Number 43. It's probably best to refrain from looking up on Google the phrase, Huskies with grins. You'll just end up having to spread the word. Number 44. Never allow someone to take a picture of you with an outdated camera. If it's too late, your only bet is to gamble with death, or just trap them in a photo. That works too. Number 45. Don't play with dolls if they come with a needle or a defect, especially a defect. Doctor's note. Or don't play with dolls in the first place. It's safer that way. 
Number 46. Burn Ouija boards. But be sure to have one of those car fresheners handy. The real reason why spirits get pissed off is because of that foul aroma that it produces when burned. Number 47. Never confront animated puppets physically. Subdue them with spells or they'll come back with minions or in a real body. Number 48. If you do find yourself unable to escape, dancing may ward off the entity. Doing the hokey pokey is known to ward off curious monsters, but you might have to do the moonwalk to deal with zombies. Number 49. If you're checking your computer for viruses and you go too deep into System32, refrain from clicking on any .avi files. If you do not heed this warning, creepy videos on you, dude. Number 50. If you see old tapes containing the words happy or appy, pretend like you never saw them. Just go on with your life. It'll just end up invoking some whacked out, coked up director of an old children's show, and you'll wind up having to pull some of that thanks for the ride shit to kill him. Number 51. If you buy a used camera recorder and find the previous owner left one of their tapes inside, reframe him from watching that tape, no matter how tempting it may be. Doctor's note. Who knows, that footage may be pretty dank. Number 52. Be careful when buying an old secondhand TV. Number 53. If you see a guy with both incredibly large smile and black and white eyes, leave the premises with a post haste. Number 54. Don't go to a friend's house to bake cupcakes if they have random spurts of insanity. Doctor's note again. Except me. I'm always insane. But I make good cupcakes. Number 55. Phone companies with low coverage are best avoided. Number 56. .exe files with strange names are not safe. Don't open them. Number 57. For the love of Neptune, turn off your faucet when you're done with it. Number 58. If you are told to not look behind you, it is better to do so, unless you're against a wall. Number 59. Also, do not listen to anyone who tells you to go to sleep. It's better to run away. Number 60. If you see a tall man with tentacles, run. Doctor's note. If you are in Japan and you see this, run even faster. Number 61. Don't enter strange websites. Number 62. Don't enter strange places. Number 63. Not even strange videos. Number 64. If a woman who covers her mouth asks you if she's beautiful, tell her she's average. It will prevent her from slicing your mouth. Number 65. No good can ever come from owning a shiny Pokemon. Doctor's note. Except if it's a Raichu. I have only had good experiences with mine. Number 66. If you're an intern at a cartoon studio and you happen to be reviewing a new episode, make sure the episode is safe for work. BEFORE viewing that shit. Number 67. Don't be so excited when being asked to look behind you, but don't take forever. No reason to keep certain death waiting. Number 68. Weird shit in Europe won't hurt you in the United States. Leave that the Creeps McPasta, Scarecrow, and the Creepy Dark. Number 69. Weird shit in the United States won't hurt you in Europe. Doctor's note but it is always safe in Canada. Except Mr. Bear, but we don't really talk about him. Number 70. If you break rule 54, there's always a chance of rescue. Number 71. If your brother is tired of noise, or if your close friend has a brother like that, refrain from going into his basement, unless you want to be tortured, raped, and killed. Especially raped. Isn't that right, Mr. Creepypasta? Number 72. If you buy a memory card that has saved data in it, delete all those saves. Number 73. If you get a drawing of Sonic on a disc and the only file on that disc is a .exe file called Sonic, don't play it. Destroy it, or a demonic being that looks like a Sonic plushie might kill you. If he chooses not to, he will just scar you for life. Doctor's note, but Sonic.exe isn't scary anymore, so you're good. Number 74. If you see what happens to be a 12-year-old kid with black shorts, a gray bloody shirt, red shades, dark gray skin, and a maniac grin, do not, under any circumstances, piss him off. Number 75. Neighbors may have a darker side. 
if they do things that seem off for them, act normal. Number 76. If you hear foreign voices from your body, that means you've been body jacked. Number 77. If you are an adult and notice that you are being stalked by a guy with a black suit, long arms, and no face, reach for the nearest child and throw him or her at him, then run like hell. Number 78. If you are a child in the same situation, run like hell before said adult uses you to satisfy the aforementioned being's craving hunger. If you do not manage to escape before the adult snags you, try bargaining with the Slender Man. The adult clearly has more delicious flesh. Number 79. The Slender Man, said Monster Descript in the last two tips, feeds on paranoia. If you remember Slender Man only wants a hug, he won't go after you. But if Slender Man does stalk you, you better get running. Number 80. If all else fails, give Slender Man $20. He should leave you alone. Number 81. If you see someone crawling around, it is something you don't want any information about. Number 82. If you are a police officer, state trooper, FBI agent, or any other person of authority, and you only have two days left until retirement, if you happen to notice anything suspicious or dangerous to your health, get the hell out of there immediately. Number 83. If you are being chased by any creepypasta and feel that you are 100% out of options, attempt to run to wherever Stephen King is doing his next book signing. Your killer will be far too interested in trying to get an autograph to remember what the heck he was doing in the first place. If Stephen King is not within your general vicinity at the time, R.L. Sign is always available. Number 84. If you are a creepypasta reader and feel like things are getting a little too real, maybe it's time to take a break. Number 85. If you find a magic stick that lets you draw living creatures, don't draw yourself. You may be surprised how pissed off your creations can get at you. Number 86. If you wake up in the middle of the woods after having fallen asleep listening to your own heartbeat, take notice that someone probably put you there. But don't call the police. Publish a book of it and get a movie deal. Number 87. If you're being offered an orange by a demon, don't take it. It probably tastes gross. Number 88. On the third day of the third month of every 33rd year, seal up all the openings to your house unless you want to be eaten by an evil mist. Number 89. If you just notice that you are being stalked by a screaming child in a skull mask, don't always assume the kid's evil. Just be sure to save the bunch of crunch should you have any. Number 90. When reminiscing about your favorite kid's shows on a message board, take a moment to consider if the episode where all the characters screaming the lungs out was real or not. Also, take a moment to consider if the entire show was real or not. Number 91. When looking through mysterious blood-soaked pictures left in your mailbox, check to make sure you locked your doors and windows. Doctor's note. Or try moving away. That always helps. Number 92. Remember, snowmen have feelings too. Number 93. Stitches is naked. Covering him with a towel will cause him to die. Do so. Number 94. If your friend disturbingly edits tapes, it's probably a good idea to never see him again. Number 95. If you keep finding broken glass in your home, check to see if the shards match the colors of the glass object that was broken. If they don't, run. Number 96. If Jeff the Killer shows up in your bedroom, unarmed, and invites you to follow him to his home, for God's sakes, don't do it! Number 97. Should you notice that your friend has suddenly developed a personality that's a mix between Heath Ledger's Joker and Beetlejuice, he or she is most likely inhabited. It would be best for you to stay clear of this person until they return to normal. Number 98. If you encounter a small creature that looks like a mutant four-armed baby with Jeff the Killer's face, don't listen to it. Not even if it offers you gold. Number 99. If you are still using Windows XP and you use it every day with internet, sticking with it is a pretty stupid decision. And the support means more doors for viruses and even more doors opening for crazy shit. Number 100. Stay far, 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 far away from abandoned amusement parks. Number 101. If your son starts talking about some sort of doll from any game, do not play the stupid game. Take the gaming system and play baseball with it. Doctor's note. 
you should do this with all haunted gaming systems that your children possess. It's much healthier to play baseball than get possessed. Number 102. If you do play the game, and later you hear any tapping in any place of your home, yell to your child to lock their door and jump from their nearest window. It is then wise to light the house on fire and then jump from your window with your spouse. Number 103. Be atheist. Number 104. Always think twice before doing something stupid or doing something you might regret. Number 105. If you come across a pro wrestling DVD you haven't heard of, it was likely never released for a reason. Number 106. If you are browsing the internet and a colorful pop out that says, you win, you lose, or you die appears, for God's sake, do not click it. Doctor's note. But if it's one of those desktop furry kittens with rainbows, then definitely click on that one. Number 107. If a magic eight ball gives you anything but yes, no, or maybe, destroy it. Number 108. Do not go to any halfway house or mental institution you can get yourself into in any city, in any country, unless your name happens to be Legion. Number 109. If you do end up in any halfway house or mental institution you can get yourself into, do not talk to the receptionist at the front desk. Instead, read a magazine, pamphlet, or any source of reading material on one of the tables in the waiting areas, unless your name is Legion. Number 110. If you do talk to said receptionist at the front desk of the halfway house or mental institution, do not ask for anyone whose name starts with the holder of, unless your name is Legion. Number 111. Do not collect all 538 objects. There is a reason why they must never come together. Doctor's note. I'm looking at you, Handmade Video 92. You're getting a little close. Number 112. If you find a bag with dozens of tapes inside it, then just leave it alone. It might be some kid you punched in the face a while ago and is now out to kill everyone. Number 113. There were some parts of YouTube you should not be in. Number 114. Don't kill anyone because you made a page on a website and an admin or someone deleted it. Just don't. You should probably go read a book or something. Number 115. If you buy used wireless headphones off the internet, rip those bitches off your head as soon as you hear static and or voices. Number 116. If you attempt to bypass a level in an extremely hard typing game, you might soon find yourself trying to kidnap children while wearing a chef's hat. Number 117. In addition to Rule 116, there was probably a reason why that level was so damn hard. Number 118. If you go camping in the woods and find a cabin, you should probably leave it alone. You've watched the movies. Number 119. Everyone's scared of something. If you're not scared of anything, well, you're probably a liar. Number 120. When playing Minecraft, do not set the render distance to tiny. Number 121. If you do set your render distance to tiny and you can see a mob that looks like Steve in the distance, set the render distance to full. Number 122. If said mob is still sighted, delete the game. Number 123. If said mob, known as Harrowbrine, is in every game, delete Minecraft. Number 124. If you are in your bedroom at night and you see a feeble looking gray humanoid at the end of your bed, do not hesitate in throwing your covers over it and try to punch it to death. And maybe put that Bible that was mentioned earlier to good use. Number 125. If the previously mentioned creature does escape one's grasp, it will stalk you and maul you. So if sighted again, run. Number 126. Monsters still bleed. If forced to fight one, don't think all hope is lost. Number 127. It's better to be safe than sorry. If you do kill whatever it is that is attacking you, don't think you are safe yet. Shoot or stab them in every vital organ you can think of and sever their limbs. Burning the corpse and slash or putting it through a meat grinder helps too. Number 128. If a banshee is screaming the living shit out of you, then that's the only sign that you're gonna die a slow, painful death. Number 129. If you have a Yu-Gi-Oh slash Pokemon card that has very ominous forces in it, Either burn the card, or cut it into pieces with scissors. Abandoning it will simply make you its next victim. Number 130. 
Demonic or spiritual forces can enter any object and person with ease. Number 131. Seek a fortune teller if you happen to have a spiritual experience that would affect your future. Number 132. Rap Rat is not a song artist. In fact, just stay away from everything that concerns him. Number 133. Slender Man does not always kill out of hunger or boredom. If he's stalking you, ask yourself if your death would benefit humanity. If it will, then just throw in the towel. Because he's coming. Don't believe me? Go ask all those Nazi soldiers found impaled on trees. Number 134. Hide and seek is an evil game. Number 135. Before you consider those horrible figments of your deranged imagination as your friends, take a good look at their face. If they have yellow eyes or impossibly deformed faces, take as many pills as your local psychiatrist is willing to give. Number 136. If you suspect that an immortal armless monster wants to put a foot through your stomach, run. Number 137. If your walls bleed phrases that make no sense, try reading them backwards. Number 138. If your walls start bleeding in the first place, it's best to burn the place to the ground. Number 139. If that one wall is miraculously unburned, get running. Number 140. Get in shape. That is the only thing you can do to evade the majority of creepypastas. Run. Number 141. If you are paraplegic, make like Happy Wheels and fashion some rockets onto your wheelchair. Number 142. If any kind of man or beast appears in your room in the middle of the night, then it's best to stab it, and stab it, and stab it, and stab it. Number 143. If you have no other weapons, put that Bible I told you to keep next to your bed to good use. Number 144. The creepypastas that become famous can't be forced. They just happen. If you are deliberately putting yourself in danger against powerful, extremely bloodthirsty beings so that you can write a non-profit story to put up on a wiki, it may be time to accept the fact that you are a complete fucking asshat. Doctor's note, remember, acceptance is the final step and then the healing can begin. Follow these simple rules and little or massive harm may befall you. Either way, the only thing that matters is that your story is copied, pasted, and narrated by your favorite narrator. Forever yours, Management. <laughs>